In the first experiment, we'll place a jar of cold water on top of a jar of hot water. Start by filling one jar with hot water and adding some red food coloring, and a second jar with cold water and adding some blue food coloring. The hot water shouldn't be hot enough to burn you. Think bath water hot. Next, place an index card inside of a Ziploc bag on top of the cold water and flip it over. Line the cold water jar on top of the hot water and slide the index card out. Notice how the water mixes together as the cold water sinks and the hot water rises. In the second experiment, we'll place the jar of hot water on top of the jar of cold water. Once again, make a jar of hot water with some red food coloring in it and a jar of cold water with some blue food coloring. Place the index card on top of the jar of hot water and carefully flip it upside down, lining it up on top of the jar of blue water before sliding the index card out from between the two jars. Notice how the hot water and the cold water do not mix together. The more dense cold water stays down and the less dense hot water stays up. This heat phenomenon is how convection currents work. Hot matter rises to the top where it cools and sinks back to the bottom to create a circular motion or current. A good example of a convection current is the up and down circular motion seen inside this lava lamp. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.